Hi guys! <laughs> Sapa! Ah! Hi guys, my name is I is Maria. I'm a gamer, a streamer, and now a tech reviewer. <laughs> I just want to share to you how you can make GoPro Hero 9 as a webcam. And as they said on their teaser or trailer, that it's one of its function is really to use it as a webcam for your live streams on Twitch, on YouTube, and even on Facebook. I got this baby for 26,000 in Urbangis. So you can check out their shop, Urbangis, U-R-B-A-N-G-I-Z. But since I went for installment mode, this costed me up to 29,000 pesos. And also it comes with a hard case. It's already unboxed, so I'm really sorry about this. I'm just gonna show it to you how it looks like. Again, this is the GoPro Hero 9 Black with hyper smooth stabilization 3.0. And this is what the hard case looks like. And when you open it, of course, there are no more contents inside because I'm using the GoPro Hero 9 as a webcam as we speak. You can see there are manuals inside that no one really reads, but I think now is the time to do that. So it's a basic manual on how to use your GoPro Hero 9. It comes with a battery and the mount, which is this one. Yeah. If you're an airsofter like me, you can definitely use this and put it on your helmet. It has this adhesive, it's called 3M, and you put it there and you can use it as a kill count or on top of your gun. Okay, for airsoft and for other things. What else comes with it? We also have a freebie for the GoPro, but this is a freebie from GoPro Hero 8. The drawstring and the very flappy frisbee disc and a fidget spinner from them and it's supposed to have a clippable mount for free it's just that Urbanese was out of stocks with the clippable mount and they're no longer able to give us those free stuff so boo right right now as you can see we're using it as a webcam in low light settings and as we all know gopros in general are not really good when it comes to low light setting it's already 9 31 p.m here in the philippines and i have three light setups to make it boom to make me pop out of the screen so i have one ring light here on my left and it's about three or two meters away from me and i want i have one here in front of me and there's a lamp stand on top of my cpu that i made it bounce towards the ceiling down to the entire area in order for you to get the gopro webcam app you have to be part of this group called the gopro webcam beta hero 8 and newer on facebook with 10,500 members archer and i are a part of it so you'll know you're in the right place when you go there this is one of the few downsides because you have to wait for the approval of the admin before you can actually get the link of the gopro webcam so what is the proper cable to use for the GoPro Hero 9? I actually stole my USB cable 3.0 from the Logitech Brio in order for me to cast the GoPro Hero 9 from the camera going to my OBS or to my desktop. If ever the camera updates or gets an update or mod and you can now start using the Camlink or the Elgato capture card, that is the time you need to buy a Type-C to HDMI in case you only have the Elgato capture card instead of the Camlink. Because I am a variety streamer and I'm using it for my PlayStation or my console in order for me to cast my games from the PlayStation going to my PC. But then again, that's not yet available, so it's something that you shouldn't it's something that you shouldn't think about as of the moment. We'll have to stick with the preview for now and stick with that kind of quality. Hmm, so what about the battery life you say? How long does it last? Well, as long as you plug it in with the USB 3.0, it's going to act as a regular webcam. The last time I checked my GoPro was at 54%. And then after streaming for 5 hours straight last night, I checked the camera and it was still or it still remained at 54%. So, okay, we also have different modes for the GoPro Hero 9. I will show you the different modes. Just go to the taskbar. Once you have the GoPro app, just go to the lower right corner of your taskbar and the GoPro webcam is right there. Just uh, click mouse to and show preview so that you can have a full blast of the preview of the picture is coming from the GoPro Hero 9. Now you can change it by going down to the digital lens. First, there is the wide. Actually, it looks better. It looks really better. No grain, no noise, no pixels or anything. And then, but but the only problem is that it's a little bit too fish eye. So you can see that my face is rounder on the sides than usual. And Helen is also uh, distorted. 
along with my lampstand right here and even the lightsaber. So now I will show you the second mode, which is the narrow mode. Ta-da! This is more for the podcast style of mode that you can use for your channels or your platforms like Facebook or Twitch. So it's closer, it's nearer, and you can only see more of the subject compared to my surroundings. So the third and the last mode as a webcam is called the linear. This is what I'm using right now for my streams and for my podcast as well because I don't want it to focus on my face. So it's a very balanced setting, proper ratio from the environment and also the subject, which is me. So it's also nice. So you can see a little bit of Helen, you can see my shelf, you can see my curtains, the color in the background, and ma. Also one of the, the cons of having this as a webcam, if you minimize the preview, it's gone. You can't see me any longer. So make sure that you don't press it or you don't press that button right there. So now I'm back. Ta-da! There's no lock mode for the window. So yeah, I, I hope that this is something that GoPro Hero 9 would try to fix in the future. You can cast the GoPro Hero 9 through the OBS. So when you stream, all you have to do is put it under window capture or game capture using your OBS broadcasting app. And we just found out that you can also use it on Discord. All you have to do is change it from the video settings and then use instead of the camera, go for the OBS camera. So make sure that your OBS is already open so that Discord could read the app. So again, again, one of the few downsides of having the GoPro Hero 9 as a webcam is that um, we don't really have we can't really plug it in using an HDMI output unlike the earlier models 8 and below. I was thinking of using the Elgato or the Camlink to capture the screen or the preview of the camera itself going towards my desktop. Unfortunately, there is no HDMI output option for the GoPro Hero 9. I'm not able to cast it directly from the camera going to OBS or going to my desktop. What I don't like about it is that the preview is not so high quality but if you look at the preview of the camera, it is so clean, it is so sharp and it is so good especially under proper lighting which I'm using right now. But we don't have that yet. Maybe it's something that we have to wait in the future for an update. You know, with all of the developers, with the firmwares, they don't go all out. So we have to wait, like with any good game, to have a DLC for it. Or an update or a mod so that we can up our gaming when it comes to casting a high quality camera on your streams. So why did I go for the GoPro Hero 9 instead of an SLR camera? Here's a little backstory. I started with a C922, then upgraded to a Logitech Brio, which is the next best thing before a DSLR or an SLR setup. It's just that I don't know what happened. Maybe it broke along the way. I could see some red flickers around the setup or around the camera and also there's so much noise there's so much grain it's not as high quality as it used to and i was experiencing overheating from the logitech Brio itself so i'm not really sure how that happened maybe it fell and it broke the lenses i don't know i'm no expert but if you have any thoughts on that or if you have any insights on that do let me know message me so maybe if there's any way to fix it i would love to hear your thoughts about it as for the colors as long as you are on obs you can use the filters or maybe download some plugins to make it nicer or to avoid that yellowish tone or feel of your of your camera quality on your obs if i'm not the one to use the same brand twice most likely i'm not gonna buy the same brand with the same unit twice in a row so i just decided to have an upgrade and instead for going for the sony a6400 i went for something cheaper halfway down which is the gopro hero 9 it's a great buy it's an action camera it's military grade it has hyper smooth stabilization and apart from that we also have the eight times slow motion ability or capability of the gopro and so many other things which i haven't tried by the way i'm not a gopro expert but as of now i'm giving you a review or sharing my thoughts on how i made it as a webcam for those interested who are streamers and also content creators like me because not, this is not only for streaming if you're someone who does unboxing 
who does other content creation or who releases motivational videos. I don't know. I think that this is like the midway upgrade that you can do compared to just going for a very high budgeted camera like the A6400 from Sony which will cost you 58,000 with the lens uh, with a kit lens you still have to buy the lenses that can give you that bokeh effect and all that jazz so it's more than 58 or 60,000 it's probably gonna cost you at around 70 to 80 tops because not only that you need to buy your Elgato capture card or the cam link in order for you to cast your camera towards your PC or through OBS but for streaming, it's best to stick with the Logitech C922. If you're a startup streamer, go with that. Don't worry about it because it gives off great quality, especially with the proper lighting. It's only 5,000 to 6,000 pesos. But if you if you have a little bit of a budget, I suggest to go for the Brio camera. It's just there. You don't need to charge it. Um, there's not so much going on around it. You just plug and play and it's already done. And it gives off really great quality going from 1080, 60 to 4K camera quality. And as for the C922, it can go only up to 720, 60 and 1080, 30. So if you're an outdoorsy person like me who loves doing airsoft, who loves doing parkour, urban exploration, I know this is a great gadget or companion for you. But if you want to stick to streaming, you can just go for the Logitech C922 or the Logitech Brio camera if you have a little budget in your pocket. So once again, this has been I is Maria. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and follow my page, facebook.com slash I is Maria. I'm also on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at Aya is Maria everywhere you can find me there and I really love interacting with my viewers or people who are reaching out to me I will try my best to always respond as much as I can guys so thank you again and see you in the next video